I'm on the verge of laughing here because we just had a baby sneeze because Kyle <laughs> Davidson's skin is here, and this is too cute. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is great. Baby Graham, oh, welcome to Studio Graham. B. How about <laughs> some karma for your life? There you go. That's right. That's, That's right. right. He's popping the collar, too. Look at that. Hans so, handsome little guy. How, how old is he? Three what? months. Three months. Graham, uh, how do you think BYU is going to do this year? He thinks they're going to do awesome. Pete Contagna! <laughs> oh, I, oh, wow. You heard it here first. This Congratulations to you and your wife, Kelly. That's really exciting. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Okay, Let's we're going to hand Graham off because no. he's got to uh, – he has a bowel movement. So oh, we'll Jerome! We'll hand, we'll hand Jerome! <laughs> no! He knows how it is. No! He's got a little baby I'm learning now. all sorts of new things now. Yeah. <laughs> how different is your life now, man? Oh, it's different, but it's great. It is uh, It's the best thing ever. It's so fun to have him around and come home and see him and, and Cal, so it's just it's the best. So we had to bring him on TV. We had yes, to, yes. His first appearance at three months, that's, that's a big deal. Other, other than Spencer, we've not had a baby on the show, which has <laughs> been huge in the last three or so. Well done. I'm revoking your <laughs> – I'm just going to hold the cough button for the entire no, time. Jer talk. Jerem hey, is hey, muted hey. for the rest hey. of the show. <laughs> I feel like I should be asking this question to your wife, but how much are you not sleeping right now? Well, I'll say uh, she's up much more at night than I am, but uh, Graham keeps us up occasionally, but he's getting better. Awesome. He's getting better. Okay, basketball media day. You're one of the two seniors. Uh, LJ Rose has been you know, transferred in. What, what's it yeah. like to be one of the seniors on this team? You know, it's great. It's, uh, it's a whole new thing, obviously, being a, uh, being a senior, but it's been great. We have a great group of guys. This summer's been fantastic. Been working hard and, and really coming together because it's a it's a pretty new team, but uh, it's been great and being a leader and be able to help some of the young guys come in and learn the ropes and, and see how things are done. It's been great. As a senior, I mean, you've been in the you've been around for a long time. You've played a lot of basketball, and so now it's really perfecting the nuances and the little things. What have you worked on specifically this summer to try and take your game just to that that next level? You know, I, I worked a lot with uh, Coach Lewis on uh, just giving myself more options in the post, creating little uh, little moves to counter my hook. I, I love to go to that. Uh, adding a little bit of a face-up to it so that you can just get to the shots you want to get in a less predictable way. So it worked a lot with Coach Lewis, and, and it's been great. I've seen a, a lot of improvement in that and excited to uh, be able to, to actually do it in games coming here soon. There's been a lot of uh, excitement and hype with the Lone Peak 3 and company. And I think that the company part of that is way bigger than ev maybe even fans imagine um, with the talent around those guys. Give us an idea of what Pickup uh, is like right now as you try and mesh with this team. You know, you know, Pickup's been great. It, it's fun because you're dealing with, for me, this is probably the most skilled team I've ever been on. So you got a bunch of guys that are skilled. I mean, Nick, obviously, and then you add TJ and Eric and – and all these other players that have come in that are just – they're great basketball players. So it's been fun. Uh, I think we'll, we'll again, have a, a high pace, fast offense that will hopefully put a lot of points on the board. Having played in the West Coast Conference, and, and one of the few for BYU that have played in the West Coast Conference yeah. coming back to this team, who is the rival of this team this year? Like when you look at the schedule and you're like, man, we, we got to beat those guys. Well, I think uh, – you always look at Gonzaga because of the success they've had in our in our conference. They've been uh, pretty dominant in it, and, and this year we hope to unseat them. That's that's obviously the goal to win a championship, a regular season or tournament or both. You know, and that's that's what we're going to strive for. That's been our vision every day as we would go into the weight room is building a culture that can uh, win a championship and get through hard times that come in the season, and also be able to handle the good times where everything seems to be going right, but maintaining that. So. Uh, the rival would be Gonzaga because we want to get to to where they're at. At that Wiley guy ninety one, he used the hashtag BYUSN. Does coach or the players have a favorite thing that the Rock section does? Cheers, chants, etc. Oh man, the Rock is great. Uh, we like when they do a uh, turbulence. That's always pretty fun. You're trying to listen to coach and everyone's just yeah. There's a bass in your ear and it's just going wild. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we like that. Uh, the Rock is great. Uh, we we try to focus in on the game, but turbulence would would be a major one. Are there times where you're distracted in the huddle like that? Like you're here, or do you not want to admit this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. There are times. Well, I remember during, I think it was my red shirt year, when everyone seemed to be making half-court shots to win <laughs> iPads and stuff. <laughs> and we would talk about it, and I'd notice guys were noticing that that was happening because I think a girl won an iPad and then maybe $5,000 or something like that. It was amazing. So, yes, depending on uh, what's taking place, at times you can be a little distracted. But 
99.9% of the time we're, we're focused in on Coach Rose and trying to get ready for the next segment. <laughs> 99% of it's the that time. that point one percent. Yeah, that point one when someone Portland, wins 5000 bucks. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Kyle Davis with us on BYU Sports Nation. A new era of BYU basketball in terms of facilities. We've already seen the Marriott Center upgraded with the, the new video boards. You got to play in front of that last year, and yeah. that, that was an exciting thing. Now the Marriott Center annex, the YMCA, comes into play for BYU basketball. What do you think that it will do for this program moving forward? You get it for a year, but the, the Lone Peak 3 and the younger guys, they have some, some new toys. What do you think it will do for BYU? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I'm sad I only get it for – half a year now but uh it's gonna be great it's gonna give us an opportunity to, at times just due to scheduling we would find ourselves in the rb or at kind of random times and uh, this will just prevent that from ever happening we'll be on a much better schedule and then also just in the off season a place where you can practice at any time because when there's women's conference or whatever it might be there's times where it is like almost impossible to find a gym in the time when you need to, to do your workout so this is just gonna really improve guys' ability to, to go in there and get their own practice in during the summer, and, and it's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm sad I'm missing out. Let's talk about um, some of these questions we've been asking the other guys, which is uh, certain things like you, you name one guy on the team, okay? You can mention kay. some on, honorable mentions, but we want one name, okay? Okay. Who's the strongest guy on the team? Probably Eli. Hmm. Elijah. For just pound for pound, just very strong, very fit, uh, uh, yeah, he's he's a beast in the way. That's room. split. Okay, we heard two for Jamal Eights and two for Elijah oh. Brandt. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, Jamal's yeah. huge too. That's yeah. not a slide on Jamal. Jamal's Jamal's huge. He can be huge. honorable mention. Honorable mention. So they don't for give sure. you too hard a time when you yeah. get back to the locker room. <laughs> exactly. Okay, best shooter overall on the team. Oh man, that's how do I say that? There's so many good ones. Uh, I'm gonna go Nick, TJ, Colby, Stephen. They're all awesome shooters. Okay. <laughs> Just give I, us I Nick's at the top of the we'll yeah. give Nick Yeah, we'll the give nod. Nick and then the rest because he's ever, he's done it now here. He's ever, done it here. Ever now, but, the politician. Uh, <laughs> the biggest goofball. <laughs> oh probably Eric. Eric's probably. Er, yeah, I'd say definitely. Okay. Eric's a goofball. Eric's fun to have around, always keeps us laughing. And, Who can hang with him? Like, oh man. Like with the goofball. Yeah. You know, Eric's Eric's one of a kind. Yes, he's he, very he sta- unique. He stands alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's why he's one of my favorite guys. That's great. Who has the best ball handling skills? Oh, I, th- I think TJ, just from what I've seen. He he will put on a, a crossover or, or some type of move that is so smooth and, and so fast and gets the guy and yeah, he's fun to watch with the ball. He'll 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 uh dazzle some people this year. He'll get some oohs and ahs in the Marriott Center, I I bet. What's funny is he just told us he feels a little bit slow that way. He's like, the my lateral, lateral movement. movement's a little bit slow. So if you See, think he it's... might be like that, but he does it so smooth and so so just like the guy doesn't see it coming to where it could probably be slow and he could still get away with it. I mean, TJ's lost the pregame like his entire career, <laughs> and then he gets out on the court and the dude's a winner. Like yeah. he's an assassin. It's, it's wild. Yeah, no question. You can see that even just this summer. It's going to be – a blast for Cougar fans to watch him and, and see the type of competitor and, and player he is. Don't sleep on the Ginger Mamba. I don't, dude. I'm <laughs> warning the opponents right now that Ginger Mamba will get you. He will. Who's the best dunker? And we've had split answers on this as well. I'd say Yoli. I'll go with Yo. Yo can Yo can fly. Uh, he's Yo! Gonna, he's yeah. He's gonna he's gonna electrify the Marriott Center too. He he can he can really get up and, and do some cool dunks. So you'll see that at Boom Shakalaka. How how good is Yoli Childs? Because people, a lot of people are very excited about this guy. Yeah, and they should be. Yoli's a, a great player. He's got all sorts of talent and skill, but he's also got a, a, a high, a, a good motor. He's going going fast at all times, and he's going to be a great player not only this year but throughout his whole career and, and moving into the future. Uh, we have to ask you about this because you're a super busy guy with school and now fatherhood and being a full time basketball player. Do you even have time for your other love politics? <laughs> Yeah, I, I I stay informed. Yeah, yeah, I, I try to stay informed a little bit. That's definitely a, a hobby for sure. Okay, so when Monday Night Football was on the other night and the debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump was on, you're you watching the debate. I was, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I probably should have switched over. I watched it for three minutes. I was yeah, like, yeah. And then there was enough, probably. Oh, man, oh good stuff, Kyle. Great to have you on set. Congratulations on uh, the new baby Very boy. Cool. And yeah, thank you so much. Great to see Graham healthy. Graham, and, awesome. yeah. Get him, on, you. get him on set. I couldn't hold it in because at the beginning of the segment, he's like, achoo, achoo. I'm like, oh, my God. He did. He got some sneezes right there right before he's we started to talking. The lights. That's right. Yeah. All right, Kyle. Some BYU Sports Nation karma to you as uh, you begin official practices. Thank you very Let's much. Let's talk again soon. Okay. Thank you.